another new day. Sitting around waiting for the truck. I'm about to take diesel out. That's why I got my muzzle on. All right. I'm on diesel. You want to go inside? Let's get your collar going here. All right. Another day, bud. Another day. I know, it's all confusing. It's all confusing. Where are we? Why are we here? This isn't home. Where's mom? I know. I know. Throw my shoes on here. Without wrecking them, I forgot my shoehorn. Oh no. Okay. What do you think, Diesel? Don't forget the key card, man. You're absolutely right. Don't want to forget this, so I can get back in. So, no plans for today. I think the plan for today is try to find a good cup of coffee. I'm like three kilometers from the nearest Tim's, or two miles. And I don't have a vehicle. That's okay. We'll be okay. I'll be fine. Not going crazy. Hey, Diesel? Well, Weasel, you want to go on an adventure? Just stay out of the water, okay? Oh, look at this. The puddles froze over. Oh, boy. Oh, it's totally ice. Ah! Well, I don't know why I'm still wearing this muzzle. Keeps my face warm, actually, I've noticed. Where do you think this goes, Diesel? I don't know, Anything ex anything's exciting today. Anything. Well, look, a sign. Slow lentment. Riveting. It's a beautiful day out, though, look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. A little bit chilly, but it's supposed to warm up. It's supposed to get up to plus 10 Celsius by uh, Monday. But I think it's also supposed to be raining on Monday. So for those of you wondering what's going on, you haven't watched the last couple of vlogs, I'd encourage you to go back, watch the last couple of vlogs. I always have the last five days of vlogs pop up one at a time above my head to the right of your top right of your screen there, I think it is, or is it the top left? Top right, I think. Uh, you can go back and watch those first if you want, but uh, we broke down. Technically not broke down, the truck is fine. There's just a sensor that's sending wrong information to the computer. And the computer thinks we're broke down, but we're not broke down. It's the DEF quality sensor on the truck. It's telling the motor that uh, and the computer that there's bad quality DEF. We tested the DEF, it's perfectly fine. The sensor's bad. So it thinks it's sick, it's not. It's like a hypochondriac. You're not broke down, man. But anyways, we're stuck here in a hotel over the weekend. Monday, they're supposed to get this part in from the US somewhere and fix up the truck so that we can continue on down to Georgia and then back home. I'm missing home already. It's been a long trip this time. I'm glad that not every trip is this long. Every now and then is all right. Uh, but when you break down, it just, it, it drags it out a little bit. But we're doing okay. At least we get to go on a nice little nature walk, eh? 
yeah, hopefully they'll be able to fix it quick and hopefully there's no other problems. It's not my truck, so at least that stress isn't on my shoulders. Uh, like it was last time we were in this situation uh, on the other side of the continent in Langley, British Columbia last January uh, That was that was some stressful times, but you know, we've got ourselves into a much better position right now much better position Stress has been taken off. The only thing Bugging me now is being gone from home But you know, you got to work you got you got to work you got to pay the bills I don't know why I still got this thing hanging here It is what it is. Life is life, you know. I've noticed that if you keep changing things, too many things, it doesn't help and it doesn't make you any more happy. Slowly, slowly change. Slowly move towards where you're more comfortable till you find a good rut, not a bad rut. Till you find a good rut that you can get in, that you can just coast, you know. Just keep her in the grooves. I've got to wash this muzzle again. It's amazing. I wash my face regularly, right? Or at least I thought I did. Yet my mask keeps getting dirty, like around my nose. Apparently my nose here is dirty all the time. And I scrub it with soap a couple of times a day. Especially since I started wearing this, because I started realizing, oh my, my face is dirty. So I started scrubbing it, it's still dirty. I don't know what's going on, I'm like a magnet for dirt. I guess I am just an ordinary guy, you know? I never quite grew up, just like a kid. Just a magnet for dirt. <laughs> Actually, as a kid, I didn't like getting dirty, apparently. I was a weird kid. I'm sure that doesn't surprise you in the least. I'm still a weird dude. I just turned from a weird kid into a weird adult. But at least I know I'm weird and I can admit it, right? I'm not in denial. A crazy person doesn't know he's crazy. I know I'm crazy. So does that mean I'm not crazy? Oh, there's the highway up there. Found the highway diesel. What do you know? That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, Trucker Josh ended up at the highway. He wasn't even trying. I guess I just subconsciously followed the sounds of the, of the humming tires. There's another trail that goes that way. Stay on trail, that sign there says. And the trail goes that way. But that's a trail too. Why can't I go down that trail? I'm going down that trail. I'm gonna see what... No, no, the sign says to stay on the trail. Diesel, we should stay on the trail. <laughs> Sorry about it, the ice scared him. Oh, okay. So Fredericton Snowmobile Club. Trail maintained and groomed by Club 5. Oh, we got trails like this in Manitoba too. They're not as wide as this, but... Snowmobile trail. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's also a nice walking trail. You just gotta watch out and keep your ears open for ATVs and quads that would be coming past here. Listen to that. Oh, it's a beautiful sound. I wish I was humming, humming down the highway. There's another one. I wish that was me. Oh well, we're gonna enjoy this time. Diesel, let's go play some computer games. I am on a quest. A quest to find coffee. I'm going nuts. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. No more coffee left in the room. Can't find coffee anywhere. Timmy's is three miles away or two miles away. Coffee. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, what can I do for you? I'm looking for coffee. Do you know if I can buy coffee anywhere? Is like a, or... Like a cup of coffee? Yeah, a cup of coffee. Good... I know Tim's is like three kilometers away. There's a... Uh... I don't have a vehicle. Yeah, I saw it was three kilometers to Tim's. Yeah. Debating yeah. whether or not I want to walk there or not. Yeah, or, like I said, Erica can take care of you. We won't even charge. Huh? <laughs> it's on us. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. maybe maybe I'll go with that. Huh? Yeah. 
Are we both get curious? Sure, yeah. If you got yeah. coffee. Thank you. So this will do for now. <laughs> they went and got me a cup of coffee out of their uh, staff room. There's no coffee anywhere around here. Like, none. It's crazy. I think I'm going to have to find a way to get to Tim's later. This will be good for now. This is all I've got left in the room. Oh no. Seriously debating. Making the, the trip to Timmy's. It's not that far away. What do you think, Diesel? It's a very nice day out there, isn't it? I'm going a little crazy. I need my Timmy's and it's a little bit further than I want to go, but there's an Irving over there. If I take the shortcut, I probably could be there in like five minutes. They got a Burger King attached to it. I know Burger King's not the best, but I'm getting desperate. I'm getting desperate here. I haven't had breakfast yet either. Oh no. I need to go and find some real coffee. Taking our shortcut again. It's a lot shorter of a cut when you don't got the weasel with you. You just sneak right through without his leash getting wrapped around everything. All right. All I want is a coffee, maybe a burger. I wish it was a Timmy's, but it'll do. I would have taken Diesel with me, but I know they won't allow him in the store over there. So whatever, it's quicker if I do it like this anyway. It'll just be like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 15, 20. Maybe 20, 25 minutes, I don't know. <sighs> Guessing it shouldn't be more than 10, five minutes there, five minutes back. It's right over there. Oh, I gotta walk past a whole bunch of trucks. Just can't get away from them. <laughs> oh, what do I do for coffee? I think I've got a problem. No, no, I think I'm perfectly normal. Normal, right? Everybody needs a good cup of coffee. I usually only have two per day, okay? It's not like I drink coffee nonstop. It's just a big part of my day. It's a big event. First thing when I wake up, and then sometime in the afternoon. Two of my favorite parts of the day. And they're being messed with right now. Can't believe they don't have any. I can't believe they don't have any uh, coffee in that whole hotel. And this is the closest one, right over here. And I had to take a shortcut to get here in five minutes. If I went all the way around on the road, it would have taken me at least 10, 15 minutes just to get here. I gotta have some coffee, man. Okay, I'm at the crosswalk. Look, I'm doing it right and everything. All right. Oh, there's no walk sign for me. There's one this way facing that way. Guess I just gotta wait for that light to turn red. Victory! That took a long time. That took a really long time, but it's okay. So we got our coffee. It's right there. Oh no, we're losing some. No coffee left behind. Uh, Monday seems very far away. Can't wait to get back out there. Wait for it. Here come the humming tires. This is a beautiful song. Listen. Oh, music to my ears. One more. One more. One more. Don't you just love that sound? 
How many of you love that sound? Oh yeah. That is the stuff of dreams right there. That sound. And back through the enchanted forest we go. Find a good way through here. Here? That's where we came last time? Yeah. Here. Okay. Try not to spill any coffee on myself. Oh, I spill coffee on myself. Oh, man. Well, it is what it is. I think I took a harder way than I did last time. I'm up for a challenge. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at this. And he emerges from the wild. Weasel. How you doing, bud? You hold the fort? I got attacked. Do you got any more on me anywhere? No? Get my shirt all dirty though. I got it stained with coffee. Oh, it's disappointing. It's one of my favorite sweaters on the road. I'm gonna have to do some laundry, man. I'm gonna do some laundry. But first, <laughs> look at this electric. Oh, man, it's pretty bad too. Uh, well, these little grippers have got quite the grip. Like, that's, that's impressive. You know, that's where the idea for Velcro came from, eh? It's crazy. Now it's going to go into a landfill somewhere where it will grow into a big majestic plant. Or just another little Velcro demon. Ah, ah! You don't want this to get in your dog's fur. It's always fun getting that out. Okay, that's it. All right, I gotta go check out the laundry room, see what kind of laundry they got. Jordy Cash. Did you miss me? Did you miss me when I was gone? Just a good boy. All right, you can be here with me while we take the first sip, okay? I didn't take any sips. On the way here. Okay. Hmm. Diesel. Want some coffee? It's not bad. No? Okay, you can go keep drinking your water. Nah, it's not doing it. Me. I had to get the coffee from Burger King because the the store there didn't seem to sell coffee. I couldn't find the coffee anywhere. So I went to Burger King and asked if they sold coffee. Nah, it's all right. But I'm picky, I'm very picky. Okay, so after I've already spilled coffee on myself, I realized that this is one of those fancy lids that, uh, that twist. I could have saved myself. Diesel? Diesel? You, buddy. I just made you an appointment with the good doctor. So the Monday when we're home, not this coming Monday, but the Monday after, he's gonna go see the vet uh, to check out his stomach. He's got, I told you already, right? He's got that dry patch on his stomach that seems to be itchy, but he doesn't, I've never seen him itching it. But it's scabbing up a little bit and uh, every once in a while a scab falls off and it bleeds and no hair is growing back there. And there's also a little lump under the skin there. So we're really hoping that it's just a fat deposit and not something worse. Uh, and also for the scrape under his eye, he's got to get that checked out. And uh, so the, the first Monday, first business day after we're home, he's going to go in and see the vet and uh, get a whole checkup done. Right, Diesel? You're going to get an old man check. 
see what's going on with you. Make sure you're good to go for the next 20 years, right? A little bit of a service, buddy. Don't feel bad about it. Everyone needs a service every now and then, you know? I always think it's good to see the doctor before the check engine light comes on, you know? I've heard, I'm not to, I don't think I'm quite to that age yet. I've had a couple of things that I went to go to see the doctor for, which turned out to be nothing, but they say as you get older, the check engine light comes on more and more in your body. And uh, it's nice to be able to go and get it checked out. I need all the lights on. Whenever I'm at home, all the lights are always off. And that's not my choice. But when I got the place to myself, all the lights are on. There we go. Some people don't look in here. Watch me getting fat. I just ordered Boston pizza. I'm really excited. I was actually pretty good today, I think. I ordered a uh, Parmesan shrimp uh, fettuccine, a pasta, a full Caesar salad, and a chocolate explosion cheesecake. <laughs> I'm excited. They said about a half hour. Diesel, you want to come wait with me? No? Okay. You know, this place reminds me a lot of when I lived in an apartment in Winnipeg. It was about the same depth as this and just twice as wide. So it had a, like a living room here, a kitchen there, you know, bedroom and bathroom. Yeah. I've moved quite a bit since I moved out. I moved out when I was 18, a little too soon maybe, but I thought I was all that in a bag of chips and I thought I was super cool and thought I was making a good decision. Turns out I probably should have stayed at home for a while longer. But anyway, I uh, had the apartment and it was cheap at the time. I think I paid like 600 bucks a month, which is cheap. You can't find apartments for that anymore, even in Winnipeg. And uh, this brings back memories of that being in motel rooms, being right in the city. Man, how life changes over the years, eh? Now here we are in New Brunswick. <laughs> Temporarily, we are going back home. But we got a house now to go back home to at least. Equity, assets. And as far as I know, I don't have any more vehicle payments. I'm still waiting to hear back confirmation that the Silverado got paid off. That was supposed to be done a while ago already, but I haven't gotten the confirmation. Actually, I should be able to tell if I go on my banking app. I'm pretty sure, yeah, no more vehicle payments, so. At least we're making progress. I wish Boston Pizza would get here already. I'm hungry. They're gonna come right there. Oh, I see the Boston Pizza car in the parking lot. Just pulled in. Diesel, you stay in here for a minute, okay? Stay there. It's a pretty cool bathroom door though, eh? A sliding barn door. Just wait in there, Diesel, okay? It's almost here. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? How are you like to be? Step it. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, the excitement. So there's the pasta, my garlic bread, my cheesecake, and my salad. Bon appetit. Right, Diesel?